Shortcuts won't make you a better artist, but they will make you a faster, more efficient worker. That means you'll be able to iterate through practice faster, meet deadlines quicker, or say it took you longer and enjoy a nice nap. Not to mention, you'll look like a wizard playing Maya like a piano to those who don't know them. Maya's got some hotkey shortcuts, and some of them are even useful. I'll cover some that I find useful, even if most may be obvious. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can create your own custom hotkeys for any command. Starting with the delete history keybind, because I wish I'd see more people using it. Alt Shift D will delete the entire history for any selected object. When modeling, you almost always want to be deleting your history often in order to avoid strange behaviors and keep your scene light and clean. Getting in the habit of pressing Alt Shift D after you make changes you don't need to keep in history will speed up your workflow significantly compared to searching through menus or shelf buttons to do the same. Next, the repeat last action hotkey, G. You'll often want to repeat the same command multiple times while working within Maya. And it's much faster to slam G a couple times on your keyboard rather than clicking the same menu item over and over. Pretty much everyone learns of G when getting up to speed with Maya, but fewer know that by shift left clicking a menu item, you'll repeat the last command run in that menu. That means you can add some edge loops, then start extruding some faces and shift left click the mesh tools to instantly get a hold of your insert edge loop tool again. Component conversion can also be very useful. The F8 through 12 keys allow you to swap between component selection modes, F8 being object mode, F9 vertex, F10 edges, F11 faces, and F12 UVs. That in itself is helpful, but even more useful is being able to convert a vertex selection to faces or an edge selection to vertices. By selecting a vertex or a group of vertices, you can press Control and then the F key corresponding to the component type you want to convert to, and it'll convert your selection to that type. I'll use this often when working with cylinders with triangulated caps, for instance. That way I can simply select the single middle vert and press Control F11 to convert the selection to all the cap faces. From there I can easily delete them or extrude them as I need. Also useful are the grow and shrink selection hotkeys. Shift and arrow brackets. Make a selection of verts, edges, or faces, then press shift right arrow key to grow the selection, or shift left arrow key to shrink it. You can also select a single edge or a few verts and faces, and hit shift control in the arrow keys to grow your selection along that edge loop. If you have a large scene with many nested objects, it quickly becomes a pain to have to middle mouse drag your objects around the outliner to figure out where to nest them. If you want to remove your objects from any and all groups, simply hit shift P. It'll remove your objects from any groups and bring it back to the root level. While selecting your object or objects, control selecting your target group and pressing P will parent those objects to that group. Simple as that. Control one will isolate your current selection. Use it, it's awesome. Control E to extrude and control B to bevel. Those are really the only two modeling tools that get default keybinds, don't ask me why. Control delete will delete an edge while also removing the connected verts. Delete will leave the verts and only remove the connecting edges. It's always seemed backwards to me, but Maya will be Maya. Page up and page down, while in subdiv mode, three on the keyboard, will control the level of subdivision in your object. You'll notice the more that you press page up, the higher your poly count will go. You can use alt and the arrow keys to make very small positional changes for precise movements by one pixel. It's sometimes a little easier to move something exactly where you want it to be or nudge it a little bit. Control D will duplicate an object, but control shift D will perform a duplicate special command, extremely useful when wanting to duplicate objects with exactly the same spacing between them. Think of columns or bolts or chairs around the round table. Backslash and dragging the right click button lets you 2D zoom your viewport without having it affect your camera transform values. It's extremely helpful when trying to look through a camera and repositioning it nicely at your viewport without breaking your camera position. Control P brings up a color picker so you can store some values as swatches for future uses. I don't find this one super helpful, but it's kind of obscure and interesting. And finally, pressing K and dragging the left mouse button lets you scrub through the timeline from anywhere in the viewport. Now that we've made it this far, let's take a quick look at where all the hotkeys are stored and how you can make your own. So by opening the hotkey editor in settings preferences, you'll be able to browse through any of Maya's commands and apply your own hotkey to them. The window on the right with the keyboard layout displays all the keys that are currently assigned in green and the unassigned keys in gray. You can even add custom scripts in the runtime command editor. Search for them in the browser and then assign those custom commands to your own keybinds. As an example here, I'll assign freeze transforms to a key as I often find myself having to use that, as well as my own custom script for deleting all namespaces in order to save myself some time. I'd be careful about going too crazy with this as the hotkey editor in Maya is known to be buggy, so rely on it at your own risk. It can also get really frustrating to have to reset up your keybinds every time you use a fresh Maya where you can't copy your preferences. Hope this helped some of you. If it did, feel free to subscribe and let us know if there are any specific topics or questions you'd like us to cover in future videos.